Hey guys, so I thought, um, since I have the summer off from school and I wanted to learn, or try to learn, um, ornamental penmanship, I thought maybe it would be a good idea to sort of do videos about how I go learning it and maybe like do a video a letter, um, just kind of like a video journal of what I do. So, um, I went on the... I-A-M-P-E-T-H website. Um, I don't know what that stands for, but I'm sure you could Google it. I'll put a link when I put this up. And um, I got this, uh, it's like a free PDF, you can get it and print it off. I got this one, Lessons in Ornamental Penmanship by P.Z. Blozer of the Zanarian College. And I just like put it in this book, well, in this like booklet thing so I can flip through it. Sorry in advance for the horrible video quality. This is my phone camera, because I do not have another phone, another camera. Um, so what I'm using today uh, is just, it's this cheap speedball oblique holder. Um, I guess it does the job. I've seen like tons, I've drooled over tons of beautiful ornate wood ones, but... Perhaps someday I will get one of those. And I have a Hunt Imperial Nib. Ugh, you can't see that very well um, that I put in there. I also saw this website where they, um, this artist put an aluminum foil, um, I forgot what these are called. These things like to retain ink and it actually works really well. Um, I'll try to see if I can link that as well. Okay, so, um, so that. I'm also using this black Sumi ink. I got it at my university for, I think, like, $3. Um, pretty cheap. Really nice ink. I like it so far. I haven't tried a lot of high-end inks. Most of my inks are pretty practice. They're just practice inks. They're not really very expensive. Um, okay. And then this notepad, which is... Um, just a top flight yellow notepad, legal notepad. I got, think I got it like at Walmart, a pack of 12 for like five bucks or something. I don't, I don't remember. Okay, so as you can see, ink spillage from previous attempts. Okay, so when I first get an alphabet, I like to, um, sort of just like study the shape and the attributes of it. Um, but I like doing this all first with a pencil. So, um, I guess with this, the thing to pay attention to since you're doing, um, the flexible nib is where the shading is and all that good stuff. So, um, here he gives you a series of steps to just practice circles like that. Um, I like doing it in pencil first, just so I can, so my hand can get used to the shape of the letter. Um, and just to see how it... I have horrible position. I like crouch over the paper. So don't... Um, so just, I guess, find a position that works for you and doesn't leave you in pain afterwards. Okay, so... It seems like it's a very... Like a slanted oval. Like that, I guess. It's a basic shape. Also, when I practice with a pencil, I like to sort of um, emulate or train my hand so that uh, to know where to do the shading. So, like for instance, here in this letter, the shading is on the downstroke right here. And so, when I do it with a pencil, I'll apply more pressure on the downstroke and then release on the way up, like that. I don't know if you can see that. Um, so, like. Here, pressure and release. Okay. So that seems to be the general shape here. We have a very elongated elbow, uh, elongated oval. And then I think mine's way too slanted though. So maybe something like that. It's almost like a half circle. 
because this line seems more straighter and this line seems like it has more of a curve to it. Okay, so curve and go up. Hmm. Yeah, it looks like it's starting to get there. Okay, and then so he just says to sort of experiment with the elbow shape alone. Ignore that. Uh, weird attempt a long time ago. Uh, okay, so. Okay, and then the next part he wants you to practice the. I guess this is the. I don't know if it's the stem. I'm not familiar with lettering terminology. Uh, so it sort of comes off. Here it seems to come off. From the from where the top ends here, so this keeps in that and then goes and it's half and half. It says here the finished stroke is split by the baseline, so it's also an oval but a rounder oval. Okay, um, and so it looks something like. Um, okay, so I'm going to try to do the whole letter in one go. Um, I feel like this part can't really be perfected unless it's attached to the letter. Um, I don't know, that may change once I try it. Uh, let's see. Keep a curve. that. Um, there's a sort of, maybe you can't see it because it's close enough. You see how here the lines don't blend in very well? One sort of goes up and you can see where the other ends. It should be fixed. Looks a bit more fluid, but um, this shape down here still isn't right. Okay, that one looks a bit cooler. Now that I have the basic shape of it. I want to try to ink up my nib and see if I can first try these on their own and then do the whole letter shape. So I'm just going to ink this up. Okay, so I want to try these circles first, or semi half oval thingies. try to make this flatter because it looks like it's more of a straight line than a curved line. So I had to pay attention to that. Um, okay, so it seems like go down and then you curve here, but then you straighten up right away. Although I feel like this has to be narrower. Huh. It feels like there's way too much shading Oh, there's not enough space between the shade and sort of like the ratio between the shade and white space isn't very balanced. So let me try that again. And if any more experienced penmans or penwomans or pen people uh, are out there, please, please, please feel free to correct my horrible 
my probably horrible technique. Um, I'm more than open to suggestions and proper direction. Again, I am not an expert penman. It's sort of like my hobby. So don't take my word as law, please. seems slightly... Huh. I feel like there wasn't enough time here in the snapback. Um, if you can't tell, I'm a perfectionist. That's too soon. A little better. Almost, I feel like this should be at more of an angle like that. <laughs> also experiment with like different angles. Oh, there we go. Okay, that looks like it's getting somewhere. I still think I let go too quickly. I should sort of smooth out the angle at which, I mean the speed, the rate at which I release pressure and also apply pressure. There we go. This is starting to look better. I'm starting to like my ovals. My stems though still need a lot of work. As you can see you're going to need a lot of paper. doesn't look quite as elegant. I think I need to sort of start this more that way. Yeah, I think it's too open. The top is too open. Oh crap. Sorry, I just spilled ink. I spilled a big plop of ink over there. Um, so maybe if I just sort of start over here. Looks a little bit better, I think. I really like this. I really like this. The house creepy. <coughs> My voice went hoarse. And I creepily whispered. too big in the middle, but I do like the oval. Okay. Almost getting there. I'm also almost running out of paper. And I'm at 13 minutes. Wow, this is long. I'll try to wrap it up here in the next couple of tries. First, don't apply pressure there. I did. This will be my last attempt. Hopefully I can get it here, no pressure. Hmm. Semi-acceptable. 
Uh, as you can see, I still need a lot of work, but um, since this is an intro video, this is probably going to be the longest. Um, uh, hopefully, the next letters will be a lot shorter, or the next, yeah, the videos of the next letters will be a lot shorter. Thanks for watching. I hope to make this um, maybe a weekly thing, maybe a daily thing. I, don't know, I guess it depends on how bored I am and how much time, how much free time I have. So, thank you for watching, and yeah, I guess that's it. Until next time.